In a previous video, uh, I introduced RDKit, which is a very useful tool for dealing with uh, chemical data. Uh, and in this video, I want to show how you can use uh, RDKit uh, together with Pandas. So we're going to copy some code here uh, from the old notebook. So we need the, the installation code for RDKit, and we need uh, the import statements here. Okay, but um, as I'm recording this video, at least there is some um, bug in, in uh, RDKit uh, that means that it doesn't work well with the latest version of Pandas. This might change in the future, it probably will, so if you're watching um, this video, let's say a year from now, you probably won't have to do this step, but for now uh, we have to install an, an older version uh, of pip in order for this to work. So I should, uh, well, let me name this before I go any further. So our dkit with pandas and I'm gonna install uh, an older version. So the current problem is uh, with 0 0.25 uh, and above so I'm going to import a slightly older version. Okay, that's installed. Uh, we now have to restart runtime here, as it suggests. Uh, and now we're ready to install our dkit. This will take a little while, so I'll, I'll cut out uh, and come back when it's done. And we're done. So we can go down here now and import. Oh, I should know we need to restart runtime again. That's actually quite important. So restart runtime, uh, and then we're ready. Now we can import. Okay. Uh, so the data set I'm going to use in this uh, exercise here is uh, one we've used before uh, on the multiple linear regression, for example. So I'm going to get that file here and download it. Okay, that's done. And then, uh, yeah, then I can grab this code here, which reads it into a pandas frame. Oh, I haven't imported pandas. That would probably be a good idea. Uh, and let me let me move this cell up like this. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna run that. <clears throat> and so now you can see there is uh, there is various uh, columns here. Uh, I can show you the data frame. Oops. So there's uh, various columns here with, with different information. And, and we're just going to, I just want to use a few columns here. Uh, so to make it a little more uh, man manageable, um, I'm going to uh, just read in a few of them. So I want. Um, the compound ID, that's probably a good thing to have. And I also, whoops, let's see, that needs to go in the list. I also want the smile string. So where do I have that? That's all the way at the end. All right, and I now want this as my second uh, column. And finally, I want uh, the measures uh, solubility column. So that's this one here. All right. So let's don't need this line. Okay, so you can see at least uh, now this is this is a little more manageable uh, to look at, uh, especially 
probably a good idea just to show the first uh, five entries or so, so it doesn't get too big. Okay, so what I have here, right, is, is the name, the smile string, uh, and the measured uh, solubility. Okay, so as I've uh, talked about in the previous video, uh, you, um, our D kit can convert smile strings into molecules, and it can actually do this inside uh, the pandas frame. So in order to do this, I need to import something called pandas tools. That's from chem. Like so. And then I can go down here, uh, make a new uh, cell here. And type uh, pandas pandas tools, uh, add molecule column to frame. So I'm doing that for my data. Uh, and I want to do that using the smile string. And I want to call the new column with the molecules, I want to call that molecule. Okay, so let's look at what we get here. So you can see now you get the, the, the picture uh, that, this, um, that this smile string corresponds to. Okay, so that's, that's pretty cool. Now, once I have the molecule, uh, I probably don't need um, the smiles string uh, anymore, and it, it's making this a little bit uh, ugly. So I'm going to remove this column here from my data frame. So I'm going to drop uh, the column called smiles. Okay, so that's actually a little bit uh, prettier now. Um, the other thing is that this, this is a really long title, uh, so I can also make uh, this a little bit prettier by renaming it. So data rename, uh, and the column I want to rename is That needs to go in curly brackets. I'm going to go up and, and copy this here. So that's, uh, that's this column right here. So this, I want to rename it to uh, solubility, or oh, just solute. Let's see how that looks like. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Um, ah. Yes. So I can either, yeah. So what I need to do is this. Okay. Excellent. So here are my solubility and here is the molecule, right? So you can see after a little bit of messing around, this is now a very nice sort of overview of what's, what's in the database and you can, you can see what the molecules are, what, what they look like. Uh, so for example, one thing I can do is, if I go down here, um, I can sort the values, for example, All right? So I can sort, for example, by solute, by the solubilities. All right, so if I just show the first few 
lines of this, right? I get the smallest ones first. If I want to see the largest ones, uh, then I have to go in here and say ascending, which is what they currently are, equals false. Right? And then I see the ones with the highest solubility. Right? So that's a that's a very good way of yeah of, of looking at the data set. Uh, I can also find the maximum value. In, in a particular column. So here in the solubility column, what's the maximum? Right, so that's 1.58. And that's the one we have here. And I can make a separate data frame if I want. Sometimes that's a useful thing. So let's say I want a data frame uh, with highly soluble molecules, so highly soluble. Uh, then I can go in and find the locations um, in the solute column that is greater than or equal to one, for example. And then uh, I can sort this again. So let me go up and copy. This. And now I just I want to work on this new data frame that I made called high solubility. All right? So this will look similar to the other one, but this will only have, uh, so if you look at the smallest ones, right, they should be about one. All right, so these are all the uh, molecules with a solubility higher than a certain value, in this case one. There's one uh, final thing I want to show. It's true that you see a picture here, uh, right, but there's actually a molecule sort of hidden behind it. it it's not just a picture. So, so for example, I can add uh, to my data frame uh, another column with, for example, the molecular weight. And I can um, then use our dkit to compute um, the molecular weight from the molecule. Like so for uh, molecules in the column, oops, called molecule. Ah, that should be more. Great, All right? And so you can see we now have a column column with molecular weight. So basically anything you can you can do with a molecule, you can also add in your data frame. All right? So RD kit, uh, the RD kit pandas integration is an excellent way of, of dealing with uh, large chemical data sets.